All right, so we have stayed in the car a couple nights now, and uh, here's what I've learned so far. Here's what I found. You definitely have to unlock the car from the inside with the key fob in order to avoid <laughs> alarms going off. If you unlock it manually from the inside and open the door, the alarm will go off. <laughs> and I learned that at like midnight that night camping. Definitely need screens to put in the windows so that there's a cross breeze. Oh, and finally, it's important, I think, to have a home for things. So when we're camped out, and we're parked like we are now, have a place for things up front so that the back is cleared, and then when we're driving, they can kind of go back into their storage spot in the back. But I think the best way to learn, besides watching a YouTube video like this, of course, is to go out and experience it yourself, and I do really believe that. That was true with the van as well. Uh, I went out without quite a bit with the van, and, uh, it just, it's a lot of trial and error, and you just gotta learn from your mistakes. Probably gonna be a little rough at first, and you're gonna learn a lot of things that'll make it better along the way, so you just adapt. Today, the plan is we're gonna make some window covers. That's been on the list. I have leftover Reflectix in here. Yeah, this stuff is actually really, really easy to cut as well. It's just uh, Reflectix. You can get it on Amazon or I think Home Depot has it. Those kind of stores will have it. And uh, that's what I'm putting in the window. And the plan is to measure the windows and cut from this, I think. This should be enough for all of it. Gotta be close. Sam's taking a break. Is that comfortable? Check it out. That one is in there perfect. You can do Velcro. I might do some Velcro. I might not for at first. Definitely I'm gonna put some fabric on the one side, actually probably both sides to make it look good on the inside. If you don't do fabric, you're gonna get this. That's a to each their own kind of deal, but for me, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna cover it with fabric. I'm gonna go to Walmart or somewhere and find some cheap fabric, uh, just black. And uh, yeah, so it'll just look like a blackout window. It is high time these get on the car. They're just a wide blind spot mirror. So now we're gonna install them on the window. All right, that should be good. We just made it to my sister's place to so I can drop Pam off. Cause it did get a little got a little hot out. I got a couple errands I gotta run real quick today. You wanna go see George? Come on, let's go see him. Hello.
All right, guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm laying out the fabric, trying to lay it out so one yard of fabric will cover one side of all these. All right guys, I was editing the video and I realized I completely forgot the back window. So I have one more to go. I gotta go ahead and measure this one. Voila. So this window has some interesting curves. Uh, a couple things you can do is just kind of like push it like in the corner and then you can cut around if you want. I'm gonna leave the excess just so it'll stay uh, better, but if you wanna make it look nicer, you can do that. Currently, I'm just looking for more function with this thing and then I'll worry about kind of padding it out. There's a couple little imperfections here and I'm wondering if I can curve this somehow. So then once you press it in a little bit like that and you can kind of make little marks like that. But yeah, so with this reflectus, it should leave a little mark when you pinch it uh, in those corners. So it kind of uh, scribes it. I think that's the word. Um, yeah, so that's the curve of the window. All right, that is close. All right, and there you have it. Two middle windows, two back windows, and the long back window we just did, so. Well, it's not perfect, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it works. So what I did was just put a piece of fabric, cut it to the shape of there, and then I just duct taped around the edges, and we'll see how it holds up. I'll let you know. I might have to do a second layer of duct tape, but we'll see. The idea is just to be able to put these in the window, just be able to push them in. That gives you some like blackout tinted windows. So that way we can we can be in here at night. I can have my laptop on. And if we're in the city, if we're in a campground, we have some privacy. So you guys have any questions, please do let me know. Um, but other than that, that's probably gonna do it for this video. Thanks for checking out um, some of the projects that I had today. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.